Hey guys, I'm just going to show you how to make your own squishy clay. Okay. Um, you will need a measuring cup, and you will need a one cup of a measuring cup. You can't see that, but one cup and two teaspoons. You will you will need. Um, veggie oil, salt, some water, and a mixing bowl. So this is dirty because I use it for another experiment, but yeah. And a knife and fork, I mean knife and spoon. The knife is optional if you're little. And then this is what I made yesterday. If you guys have not seen it, this is my Play-Doh. And you can add food coloring, but I did not. So yeah. That's pretty much what it looks like. Let's pack this back in. That's one day that it has survived. Okay, so first, take your bowl and. Ooh, I forgot something. And you will also need flour. Sorry about that. Okay, first, you just want to take your one cup and fill it into the bowl. I like using the knife to like smooth it out. If you guys can see this, use the knife to smooth out your flour. Okay, so that's one cup of flour. Now you just want to just shake it to make it look flat. Then you need a half a cup of s a half a cup of salt. I'm going to use my cup and just fill it up that way. And so yeah, um, so I poured that in. Now you want to, first you want to add your your solids and then you add your liquids and then you're gonna mix all the flour and salt together. Then you wanna add one teaspoon of olive oil. So I have two teaspoons, but I'm just gonna add half. But yeah. Okay. Then you wanna add one teaspoon of water. I'm just going to do two teaspoons. Actually, do six teaspoons. Mix it. Sometimes it does not come to the right um, texture, so you can keep adding more water. Put 
because like sometimes there's not enough. I don't get why I have two teaspoons when that's not even enough. So I do about three. Maybe three to eight. And if it's sticky, you need to add more oil. So we're going to add two teaspoons of oil. And then you just want to just stir it on up. Then we're going to add another teaspoon of water. Starting to like come together, but not all the way. So like this is like the texture right now. It's like not even hard. So I need to just now you just want to put your spoon down and take your knife and like scrape off the sides so all of it can get in. Oops. Then you want to just grab all of it with your hand. Okay. And play with it. Okay. Now you're going to set it back down and grab the smallest things in there. A small crumbs in there, like I'm doing, and put it into a ball. Not like a ball, but together, in other words. Then mix all of them together. Then you take your olive oil again and put two teaspoons in it. There's te two teaspoons. And you want to set your two teaspoons in your water. Then you want to mix all this together. So now you just want to move your bowl, push off all the crumbs, take your flour, and then just sprinkle it on here. Then you just want to move your cup. Okay, so now the camera down. I'm just playing with it. It, you can feel the chunks of um, you can feel chunks of uh, salt in here so I probably would not eat it but it is edible so you can if you want to but I personally personally wouldn't but you can okay now I'm going to add olive oil. I'm just going to add about one teaspoon or two. And then you want to take your plate out, poke a little hole in it, and then pour it on in there. Now you just want to Bend that over and start playing with it. This looks kind of dry. If you guys can see this, 
but it's just crumbly. So that's why I eat things there. I think we didn't have some flour. Because I think flour makes it not crumbly, and then olive oil makes it. Mm, makes it. What's the word? Harder. But yeah. You can do this stuff, but if this does not work out for you, at the bottom, tell me what happened and tell me what happened and what did it do or any of that. This is not the squishy kill yet, yet, so don't exit out yet. Okay, now you just want to just rolls into a ball or some kind of shape okay I just have it in this kind of shape now you want to pull and take like a ball right about that much Roll it in your hands. And then you go microwave it for um you go and microwave it for twenty twenty seconds, so I'll be right back. So I am microwaving it. So yeah. Okay, now we're going to talk about storage. Storage, you can keep this in a plastic container. Or you can keep this in a plastic bag. Like this. They look similar, don't they? But they have two... They, have, they don't make it the same. So yeah. It's fun to place them in the plastic bag. Let me go get the other stuff. looks like as you can tell from the top it's like a nice brown color and it actually is you're actually able to push it down and it pops right back up so I'm going to make one more so this time it's going to be smaller so yeah Feel small. I should put this. Okay, making it that small. Compare those. Be right back. Twenty seconds. I'm seconds because I want to experiment with 20 and 10 so yeah I'm gonna grab a storage bag for this too so I'll be right back
I would suggest doing huge lumps. I would suggest doing smaller ones because I feel like those would not cook in the middle. But yeah, I think I would rather do it on 10 seconds. Go to this. It's all squishy. So 10, not 20, because 20 is kind of hard. But if you want to, you still can. But you can't just crush it. Yeah, like, nice touches. Nice touches. And if it starts to crack, you can just use your other batch that you just, this batch. So, it can make about a lot. I'm not sure, because I'm really not that smart. So, do not use 30 seconds, I mean 20 seconds, unless you do like a big old clump. But if you have like a small piece, use it for 10. Depends on how big it is. Okay, storaging. First, you're going to take your bag and set it right here. And you grab your flour and sprinkle that on here. And take this. Take your flour. Play with it one more time. Gonna make this into like a potato kind of shape. And just slide it on in there. Okay, these things can dry out really fast, I'm guessing. So you wanna add flour onto these. So yeah. So there's hell of difference. I would know because I made a smaller batch of squishy clay than my clay and you can add food coloring but I did not want to because yeah so yeah um, this is what it pretty much looks like and this feels so cool if you break it open like I'm going to right now it kind of looks like bread in the middle you guys can see this I just broke it open but I can make another batch, and I probably will. And this one, I kind of don't like, because this one's, like, too hard to watch. I can't even squish it. So this one was a fail. So do not do 20 seconds for this small. Do it bigger. But, yeah. Um. So, yeah. Now you guys can look at this. Can you guys see the difference? I feel like this one is darker and this one is lighter. But whatever. So, can you hear that? That's how hard it is. You can listen to this. It has a broom, but. So, that's a difference. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.